She's quite popular, and now she can be permanent. After five years of temporary permits and legal issues, the Public Design Commission has determined that the city must come up with a permanent solution for the Fearless Girl statue in the next six months. But she can remain here for the next 11 months. To relegate Fearless Girl to a temporary status is really not acceptable when you consider the symbolic nature of the work. The statue stands in front of the New York Stock Exchange. The fight over Fearless Girl has pitted a Boston-based fund manager, State Street Global Advisors, against artist Kristen Visball, who owns the copyright to the statue. But the company owns the physical casting. Private companies shouldn't own public art on public space. Both parties have different versions of how the statue came to be. The artist says that she was told that she was doing something of a rogue advocacy campaign for International Women's Day. The company says it's part of a corporate advertising campaign for an initiative of theirs. Visball wants to give an artist-proof casting of the sculpture for the city to own permanently. This is a public work. She stands on public property and she must benefit the people I created her for. The next six months will determine its fate and location. The statue draws in tourists from across the globe and young girls feel like they can conquer the world when seeing it. It made me feel like people are getting to be a bit more empowering to women because a long time ago people were just or not even that long ago people were just like oh women you just do the housework and then we have Kamala Harris being our vice president now I know what it means and to be let girls know that you can be proud of yourself and you can do more than just like something that's just casual but you can do more and make a big statement now a permanent location is still unknown but again she can stay here for the next 11 months we will know her forever home within the next six months in Lower Manhattan, Michelle Ross, Pix 11 News.